As the first regional sea in the world, the Baltic Sea has more than 10% of the sea area protected as MPAs, and we are very proud of this. Now, this target was reached in 2010, but the work to develop a coordinated network of MPAs that was started already in 1992 with the adoption of a recommendation. And recommendations, they are the strongest decision instrument in Helcom. They outline targets and measures that all contracting parties agree to carry out. So the MPA recommendation forms the backbone for the joint development of spatial protection in the Baltic Sea. And I can also mention that the Natura 2000 sites that are designated under the EU Habitats Directive, they are also incorporated in the Helcom MPA network. Now the first recommendation that was adopted in 1992, it was reviewed and reviewed last spring. And it now contains goals for the future, including to improve the MPA network. Then Helcom also has a practical tool to follow up the progress of the MPAs. And this is a database and a map and data service. And this facilitates access, for example, to GIS data. So the access to information has also been important in the development of spatial protection in the Baltic Sea.